Welcome everyone to your Power Pilates. My name is Annalise and I'll be guiding you through Let's Come Laying Down on the Mat and let's have some fun together finding that burn as a team. You're going to meet me down on your mat, starting with a dead bug. So laying down on your mat, legs come in tabletop. Our right side's going to come glued together and our left side's going to extend and bend. Modify, place your feet down. We work that right side from here. Here we go. Let's join me in three, two, and one, right side extends, we extend it long, bring it back in. Extend it long, bring it back in. Aiming to get your chest off your mat, elbow and knee stays glued together. Your first exercise of five in your core series. Lengthening out through the toes, reach to either side of the room, pull it straight back in. We're gonna find that burn together as a team, drawing that right side in a little bit closer. Let's start to keep that chest up. You are well over halfway, pulling it in, extending it long. Let those abdominals start to ignite. As we crunch higher, let's start to push our right elbow into that knee a little bit more. On your next one long, hold it long. We pulse it up for four, for three, for two, one. Laying back down, a long stretch. Here we go. Reach that right side long and we switch, and we switch. Modify, lowering your chest straight back down. Second exercise of five, reach, reach. Let's start to draw that nose into the knee, point through the toes as you extend, pushing your back in towards the mat. You've got it looking so strong. Each time that knee comes in, try and crunch up higher to find that really upper abdominal strength and that burn it through the core. 15 seconds left, let's start to pick that pace up. You've got this mind of a muscle, push it through those legs. You have four, three, two, one. Dead bug, other side. We have our left side connecting this side. Right side lot extends, then we bring it back in. Right side extends, bring it back in. Now you can lower that chest if it becomes way too much. Extending that right side, Elbow draws into the left. Third exercise of five, team. You've got this. Let's start to draw it in. 50 seconds. You are halfway through. Whew, who's feeling that core already? Really lengthen through that right side. Keep lifting the chest up. Really lift, extend, point that toe, fingertips reach behind. Let's start to lower that leg a little bit more. Now, if you haven't tried lifting that chest up, let's start to lift it up. On your next extension, hold those legs out long. Pulse the arm up for three, two, one. Bicycles, elbows wide, stack those legs in tabletop. We rotate to one side, bring it back down through center. Rotate to the other side, bring it back down through center. You are smashing this core series. Drawing it up, extending that leg if you want a little bit more, trying to get further past your thigh. Your challenge is to add a double leg extension, back through centre, lower back down. Double leg, bring it back through centre, lower back down. Otherwise, you're just flowing through, alternating sides. We have one more exercise to go, team. Don't give up on yourself, commit to this exercise. Maybe start to add that challenge. On your next one up, we hold and pulse. For four, for three, two, one. Back to the other side, hold, pulse for three, two, one. Toe dips, lower your chest down, legs in tabletop. We dip our toes to the mat, bring it straight back up to tabletop. Modify, alternating legs here. Reach it down, back up, down, back up. Your challenge, extend your arms. Lift your chest up off your mat. It is your final core exercise. Those lower and upper abdominals just start to feel that heat. Embrace it together, pushing your back into the mat. Navel pushes in, lower down, bring it back up. 15 seconds, let's start to pick that pace up, down and up, down and up. You've got it. On your next one down, hold the toes down, let's post them down. For five, for four, three, two, 
One, rolling onto your side for your side, lying up on your forearm. Lateral lift, top leg lifts up, lower back down. Top leg lifts up and squeezes, lower it back down slow. Lift it up and lower. Shins run parallel to the mat. You're up on your forearm to modify. You can cup your head in your hand or extend your arm out long, resting your head on your bicep. There's loads of options for you to take. So commit to that option and really find that glute burn as you lift the leg up. On your next one up, hold it up. We pulse it up. 15 seconds of pulses. We're gonna get those glutes on fire here. Five exercises, first exercise. Drawing it up. Push through that outer glute, flex through the toes. You have three, two, hold. Let's kick it back. Bend it in, lower it down. Bring it up, kick it back. Bend it in, lower it back down. Bring it up, extend, bend, lower down. Whew. Let those legs absolutely burn. Now try and keep that top leg from lowering all the way back down. Trying to minimize those rests. Flexing through the foot, drive through the heel, squeeze your glute. Bring it in slow, bring it straight back down. As you drive back, press your hip forward, go into the corner of the mat, bend it in, lowering back down. Next time your leg is back, let's hold it back and pulse. Whew. Toe down, heel up, press that hip forward. You have four, three, two, hold, rainbows. Now big rainbow forward in front of the body, big rainbow back towards that corner. Big rainbow forward, third exercise of five. Bring it over and back. Now, if you've committed to being up on your forearm, I want you to press through that forearm. That gap between your obliques and the mat is elevated. Using your top hand for stability. Now drive through that heel. You want everything to be active through the right leg. Halfway through. Now, as we move through these movements, that burn is going to start to intensify. Hold on to it. Keep going together. Lifting up through the leg. Straight long leg. Big rainbow. Tapping out that glute. You have got this. Let's get a couple more together. Forward and back. Last three. Two. One, side kneeling, coming up onto your side kneeling, we have a straight leg lift. Lifting the leg up, lowering it straight back down. Lifting the leg up, lowering it straight back down. Whew. Now drive to that leg, get that leg high in line with the hip, slowly lower it down. Lift it up, drive it up, lower it down slow. Hold on to it, commit to this leg lift. You're only here for two exercises. On your next one up, we hold. We are pulsing for 15 seconds. Toe down, heel up, push that hip forward. You've got this. Last five, four, three, two. Hold, circles. Circle your leg forward. Big circles. Tap that glute out, get that leg a little bit higher. One more exercise, this is it. We'll swap that direction halfway through. Let that leg come a little bit higher up. Lengthen to the leg, push through your palm. You've got this, let's try and reverse that circle now. Big with the circles. Your outer glute should be on fire. Mine's absolutely burning. Whew. Let it happen. Lift and rotate. 50 seconds, 50 seconds to find that incredible burn that we're all after, embracing it. You've got this last 10 seconds. Don't let that leg drop now, mind over matter. You have five, four, three, two, one. Side plank coming onto your same side. In three, two, hold your plank. Thread the needle. Thread your right hand underneath your chest, looking behind you, bring your hand back up to the ceiling. Modify, bottom knee comes down, finding that rotation, top leg is extended. Now we're working the obliques here, rotating around, 
Now, even though your arm is moving, your chest is rotating with that arm, pressing through the forearm as you lift your hips up. Now, start to find that C shape through the, those obliques as you lift your hips up, powering through your forearm. First exercise of five in your planks. On your next one under, hold, pulse it back. Back for five. Four, you've got it. Three, two, one. Forearm plank, here we go. Hold your forearm plank. We're gonna tap forward, tap it back. Bring it forward, bring it back. To modify it, come down to your knees, tapping it out, and in. Out, and in. Pushing those hips down if you're on your knees. Really lengthening that arm out, taking it slow as you tap it out and as you press it back. Now we're gonna to wanna to lift those hips as we extend one arm. So use your oblique to press your hip down. That's it. You've got to let that burn ignite through your abdominals. Let's get a couple more. Press it out. Reach as far as you can, lengthening through your arms. Last four, three, two, static plank hold. Here we go. Third exercise of five. Drawing those upper abdominals up to the ceiling. Hips stay low, squeeze your glutes. Elbows stacked underneath the forearms to modify. Come down to your knees. Now press those hips down, active through the upper back. Don't forget to breathe. 50 seconds static hold. Sometimes not moving the body all together. So much harder, but we can do this. We can keep holding mind over matter. Let's challenge our minds together as a team. Lifting it up, round out to the back, squeeze the glutes. You've got this. Really round it out. Last eight seconds. Keep holding, don't let those legs drop. Maybe even come to the toes. You have four, three, two, high plank. High plank, we walk into a hover hold, walk back out to a high plank. Walk into a hover hold, back out to a high plank. Palms stay directly underneath the chest. Knees come low as they walk into that hover. Press it out. Now to modify, we can stay in that hover or hold a plank, entirely up to you. Walking in, walking back out. And those arms will be starting to feel it. But we got this. Letting that body shake. Oh, I can feel those obliques, that entire core starting to ignite. Getting a couple more just like that. On your next hover, hold your hover, just hold the hover. Knees stacked under the hips. You have five, four, three, two, one. Side plank, opposite side. We lift those hips up and hold. Here we go. Now rotate your top hand underneath your chest. Let's finish off this side plank. Last plank, rotate. Add that modification if you require it. But if you haven't tried it on your toes, giving it a go, you might surprise yourself. Driving it under, chest comes under. Reach behind you, reach to the back of your mat. Bring your hand back up to the ceiling. Reach it underneath, bring it back to the ceiling. Yes, team. Reach it up. On your next one underneath, hold it back. We pulse for five. Four, stay in it. Three, two, one. Side line. Here we go. Opposite side lifts. Top leg lifts up. Lateral lift. Lower. Shins come parallel to the edge of your mat, flexing through your toes. Then we just swap sides, team, as we lift and lower the legs. Now draw that abdominal up to the ceiling. Keep that side active. Even though we're working those glutes, we're still working our shoulder and those obliques. Bring it up. First exercise of five. And you guys sit on the other side so we know what we're going to expect. On your next one up, we hold, we're going to pulse. 15 seconds of pulses. Now really squeeze your outer glute. Knee drives up and down. Shin stay parallel. Woo, let that leg burn. We've got this. You got four. Three, two, 
hold. Now kick it back, bend it in, lower it down. Lift, extend, bend, lower. Lift, extend, bend, lower. Minimizing those breaks as you lower your knee. Remember coming out to the corner of your mat. As you lengthen your leg, drive through the heel. Keep the leg elevated. Bend it in, lower. Lift, extend, bend, lower. Whew. Second exercise of five, you guys are smashing it. That outer glute should start to feel that heat. It's exactly what we are after. Remember, you can always lower your head back down and focus on it, those legs. Maybe lowering that chest will actually get you into more into those legs. So take whatever option feels right for you. On your next one back, hold your leg back. Let's pulse it up. Up for five, four, three, two. Hold rainbows, big rainbow forward. Toe comes to the mat. Press it back, big rainbow back. Bring it up and over. Drive with the heel as you send it back behind you. Pushing it up, toe comes down. Elevate the heel. Take the leg back, big rainbow. Let's start to get it higher. Working that outer glute. Woo, letting that leg ignite. You've got this, 20 seconds to go team. Let's get that leg even higher now. Big lift, back. 10 seconds. Finishing it off strong. On your next one forward, hold this pulse for three, two, one. Side kneeling, here we go. Press up into that side. Now extend your top leg. We lift it up, we lower it back down. Lift it up, lower it back down. Lift it up, lower it back down slow. Find control in the movement. You always rest that leg down on the mat where we're gonna keep going together. I'm right here with you, feeling that burn. Flexing through the foot, drive it up. You are halfway through. Embrace that burn, chase it to the end. One more exercise left, looking incredible. All working hard. On your next one up, let's hold it up and pulse. Yes, we can. We have three, two, hold, circle. Here we go. That absolute final burner in this series. Those legs should be starting to feel that heat. We're going to hold on to it. We're going to keep lifting that leg up. Each time you want to give up, keep adding a round, keep adding a circle. Now press through that palm, lift your side waist. You are halfway through. Let's reverse that circle. Lifting it up and back, back. Keep holding on to it. Don't let that leg lower. You are in control of that burn. I'm feeling that exact same burn with you. We came here together as a team. We're gonna finish together as a team. 10 seconds left. Let's get that leg higher one last time. Last five, don't lose it. Three, two, and time. It's kneeling arm work, coming to the mat, kneeling in your knees. We're gonna extend our arms out long. We're gonna punch forward and then out to the side. Punching overhead, punching out to the side. So knuckles go up, palms go down, knuckles to the side. Punching up. Now you can add weights, whatever you like to add extra resistance through the shoulders. Now if it's too much kneeling, you can always come seated on your mat. Hips come towards your heels. Shoulders down away from the ears or let your arms do all the work here. Yes, team, looking incredible. First exercise of five. 50 seconds, you only have 10 seconds left. On your next one, outside, hold it out. You have five, four, three, two, hold. Now bend your elbows, knuckles come forward. Extend your arms back out straight. Bend them in forward, knuckles come forward. Extend them out long. Now take it slow. If you aren't using weights, clasp your hands together, making fists. 
make those arms strong. The slower you move, the more intense that burn's going to be through your shoulders. And that's exactly what we're chasing. Find that extension, lengthen out long. Broaden your wingspan, draw the elbows back in. 20 seconds left. Those arms should be starting to feel that heat. You are smashing this strong 28 minutes. On your next one long, hold your arms long. Let's pulse them back up for four, three, two, one. Bend the knee, elbows back in. Now extend your arms long, chest press. Bend the elbows back in. Extend the arms out long. Bend the elbows back in. Keeping your arms in line with your chest the entire time. Elbows now extending forward, now bending back. You should feel it running down your outer bicep, that entire arm, absolutely on fire. Third exercise of five. Let's start to add those weights back in if you can. Drawing those shoulder blades together as those elbows draw back. Looking incredible, team. On your next one, back. Hold them back. Now pulse the elbows back. For four, three, two, one. Extend the arms. Palms go up. We rotate our forearms to the ceiling. Now palms go down. We rotate the forearms down. Rotate them up. Rotate them down. So find that little semicircle through your wrists as you rotate the palms up and down. Adding those weights, arms stay straight. To modify, you can lower the arms back down towards your waist if you find it way too much. Team, we only have 25 seconds left of this exercise. We only do them once. So try and commit to it, add that challenge by holding those arms exactly where they are. Squeezing those glutes forward. Staying active through the core, draw your navel in towards the spine. Everything's on here. Let those arms sizzle. You have four, three, two, one. Hug a tree. Palms come together. Send your fingers. Now open your arms wide. Soft bend to the elbows. Squeeze your fingers back together. Open your arms wide. Squeeze your fingertips back together. Is your final exercise in your arm series. Let's start to add a juicy challenge. We open it wide. We bring them back to center. One pulse up. Wide. Center. One pulse up. Now soft bend through the elbow. You're creating a big oval shape through your arms. So lengthen away from the body. Shoulders come down away from the ears. You've got to add that pulse if it's there for you. If it's not, flow through that hugger tree. Elbows stay slightly elevated. Try avoid dropping them down. You've got it, 10 seconds left. Finish it off strong. On your next one wide, hold it wide. Let's pulse it up, up, up for five, four, three, two, one. Standing series, here we go. Let's come along on our mat. Step your leg back. We're going to find a 90-90 lunge to a straight leg lift. 90-90 lunge, straight leg lift. First exercise of five in your standing series. Now, as you lift your leg, hinge forward, keep your front leg bent. Bring it in. Extend it long. You're aiming to get your back knee to touch the mat. Whatever leg you have for, we're going to stay on this leg for the next exercise. Bring the knee down, elevate and lift, drive through your heel, lengthening out through your glute. 10 seconds left. On your next 90, 90, hold it there. Let's pulse it down for five, four, three, two, hold it there. Now travel your leg in, in. Traveling lunges, into narrow, travel it back out, out, out to 90. Bring it in, in. In. Same legs forward, traveling that opposite leg back. Chest is slightly inclined forward. That leg starts to ignite as we find those pulses.
pulses with that front leg. Second exercise of five, team. You are almost at the end. So this is where we start to really build that pace, to really commit towards the edge. Try for a couple more and keep flowing through. You have 15 seconds left. On your next 90-90, hold it there. Chest stays upright. Here we go. Last five. Pulse it out for four, three, two, one. Sumo squat. Why with your toes? L hands behind your head. Drop down to a sumo. We have two rotations. Center. Two pulses. Two rotations side to side. Hold. Two pulses. Now to modify. Stand tall after each set. Two pulses. Stand tall. Reset. Come straight back down. Rotate. Now naturally we're going to want to bend forward to reach our elbow. Let's try and keep your chest open. Work through those obliques here. Now don't forget about those legs. They stay parallel to the back. On your next pulse, we hold, we pulse to the end. 10 seconds. Let's get those legs lower. Maybe even lift those heels up. Elbows wide. You have five, four, three, two, one. Changing legs, other side. Here we go. Find your 90-90. Hinge forward, straight leg lift. 90 90. Hinge forward, straight leg lift. Down. Hinge forward, straight leg lift. Your front leg stays bent. As you lengthen that back leg up, bring it straight back down. Now, if you fall out of it, don't worry. Come straight back in. Little bit of balance, little bit of coordination. We've got this. Bring it down. Lift the leg. Drop the knee down. Lift the leg. On your next 1990, let's hold and pull. For five, four, three, two, one. Hold that lunge. Here we go. Travel it in to narrow. Team, it is your final 50 seconds of this standing. Class is over, so let's start to really hold that pace to find that depth through our front knee. Pulsing your knee down towards the mat. Almost at the end. That's where we start to charge up to really find that strength together. I know that burn starting to increase, but hold on to it. That's why we turned up on the mat. Wherever you are, hold on to it. Bring that leg in and out. Let's finish off. On your next one back, hold that 90-90. Hold it back, chest is upright. Let's pulse it down. 12 seconds left. Finish it off strong. Chest is upright, team. Don't lose it. Last eight, seven. Keep holding back. Knees almost touching the mat. Four, three, two, and one. Let's take a quick stretch. Meet him in a child's pose. Arms are long, knees are wide. Extend those arms wide, sinking your hips down. Take a moment to really inhale through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Being proud of yourself wherever you are at on the mat. Taking the time to appreciate what your body just gave you in this moment. Let's take a big inhale in for five, four, three, two. Exhale out for five. Four, three, two, and one. Let's bring those legs around the front of the body. We're gonna find a Pilates roll down. Legs are long, chest is upright. We roll that spine all the way down the mat, taking your time as you lengthen through your body. From here, bring one knee into your elbow, into your chest, and then cross that ankle over the knee, finding that figure four stretch. Now you can leave your chest down or that foot down and just press the knee open wide. Taking a little stretch out through the glutes, letting that entire upper body relax, catching that breath. And let's swap legs, other leg, crossing that ankle over the knee, draw it into the chest, pulling it in, finding that nice stretch through the backs of your legs. Rocking the hips from side to side, whatever feels nice in this moment. 
and then from there, feet flat. Just find a little twist, knee to one side, eye gaze to the other. Just relax through the lower back. Slowing down that heart rate. Close the eyes for a moment. And let's change sides. One last time, let's draw those knees to our chest. Find a ball, just rock those hips from side to side. Now team, you can stay stretching for as long as you like. But thanks for all joining me. Hopefully those legs are nice and heated. My name is Annalise. Thanks for joining me for your Power Pilates. I'll see you guys all next time.